What is up guys, it's Fully Space and welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since we've done one of these. Today we've got 15 different kind of building tips, tricks, little hacks. A few of them will be based around Halloween as Halloween has just passed and uh, currently I didn't get a chance to upload on the actual day of Halloween. I've been quite busy with work but obviously going into lockdown being in the UK um, I'm going to have plenty more time to be uploading content which is going to be great. And uh, yeah, so we're going to start this video off with the first one here but before actually we do that i'm just gonna let you guys give a quick reminder that i do have a discord server uh, if you want to join it feel free to come into the description and click that discord uh, link that will take you to the discord page you can join us there we've got a small little community going on and yeah hopefully you'll come on uh, over and just enjoy the fun that we have we're a very nice little community at the moment and yeah just trying to build up a nice little community where we can all play and enjoy the game and uh, have somewhere to escape to which is quite nice so yeah I'm going to start and stop rambling on and uh, yeah, let's begin with our first build here. So we're going to go with a little few little tips in this one. So obviously this little graveyard area, these lecterns are facing uh, in different directions. So for example, you put them back to back, we can do one, two, three, and then one, two, three. When you cover it in dirt, uh, you get exactly what we've got here, which looks like an open casket type thing. Um, obviously no body or anything in it, you can't really see that. Maybe if you had some sort of armor stand, data pack maybe. Um, probably put a skull in there if you like put a armor stand with the skull on top and kind of forced it through um uh just yeah just a nice little open casket design there um as if something has just been buried this has been around for quite a while i haven't don't think i've actually showed this on my channel before but as it was coming up to the the halloween spirit or just past even i thought i'd show show this one off and uh, yeah we just got some weird invisible iron frames with bones as well they just give off a nice little um spooky kind of vibe or spooky kind of tone to the build um, so yeah, that's just a nice little thing to kind of keep in note. Obviously we've got a different bunch of different blocks and slabs and stairs. You have this kind of broken spooky little um, kind of, don't know what you call it, like a um, grave area. It's a little graveyard, that's the one. Uh, and next up we got uh, just a simple hanging light uh, designed using the jack-o'-lantern. You know, going with that spooky Halloween feel. Uh, so we've got just a cobblestone wall, two fences on top, cobblestone at the top, uh, trapdoor, trapdoor, and then two chains into a jack-o'-lantern there simple little light design maybe to spook your uh, maybe change that from a lantern to a jack-o-lantern just to simply make your area look a bit more spooky um, obviously once halloween is over or well as it's already over you could always revert that back to the normal lantern so it's really up to you what you're going to do with that next one here is a really cool one i actually really enjoyed this so i showed this before the little pumpkin with the sea pickles on top uh, they look like stalks you can obviously have a normal pumpkin and you could do the same with a jack-o-lantern although you would probably cut the top out uh, not a, not a jack-o'-lantern, this is a carved pumpkin. But if you had a jack-o'-lantern, you would probably cut the top off this. So you wouldn't actually need the stalk. But yeah, we got uh, the stalk on there. And then we got these small ones. Now these are literally just, if we break this, armor stands. So all I've done is put, I believe, a half slab. Uh, so I've gone down two blocks, placed a half slab. On top of this half slab, we will actually get the armor stand. Uh, I'll just give you a quick demonstration of what I've done. Just so you guys can kind of see. So you place an armor stand, that will sit on top of that slab when that will give you just enough room for the head to poke out and then you want to put the pumpkin uh on top of that so i believe we need this so it will look like this obviously you can't place a block here so what you need to do is put your full block here and what you do is get a piston just push it down and then get a piston to push it down again and then it will go into the floor and that will give you this little design here so you can have these small little pumpkins around your world um, instead of just these giant ones so that's a nice little tip for you guys just a few spooky kind of um, maybe like brewing areas, maybe like in a witch's hut. I'm using these blocks here. So we've got crying obsidian in this one. And I can't actually remember the name of this. I believe it's the anchor. Um, you could have some spooky little um, cauldron type thing going on here. So obviously you can actually get a cauldron in Minecraft, but you can't really make it like purple. Spooky make it like look like there's a potion. You can only really add water it, to it. Unless you want to retexture your water specifically for Halloween. And you can use these little tips and designs here to make them just look that bit more spooky. They kind of look like these spooky little cauldrons and you could have things around them. Obviously you don't have to use the spruce trap doors. It's really up to you what you want to do. Next up, it's just a simple one. We're moving away from the spooky kind of area on this one. Um, this is just like a little trough and you can actually just fill it with milk by using snow. So you can have different heights of milk for example. So you could have something like that. So it looks like the trough has maybe rocked. Um, so some things like hit it, nudged it and the water's gone from one side. Uh, to another or there's a little bit in the middle that's like a little a drainage area um so you could have someone like that it's really up to you or you could just have it flat and it kind of looks like milk so you could add this into your little cow's pen 
um, or well, maybe not your cows then. <laughs> that would, uh, yeah, you could you could just add it around so you could have these little troughs filled with milk. Um, I guess you could fill up the, um, you could ha I guess you could have these troughs in a cow's pen to make it look like you've milked the cows and you put it into a trough. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think putting cow's milk inside of a cow's pen is something that is going to look great. So maybe stick with water, um, but you could use that for some sort of farm design, I guess. Um, maybe like storing um, milk, for example. Um, but yeah, that's something you can do. Uh, and next up is another little spooky bush design. We just got uh, leaves surrounding a jack-o'-lantern which is in the middle and I just broke it. And then mine, we'll grab that, put that back. Uh, just leaves literally surrounding it with some cobwebs on top. Give you this spooky little um, kind of uh, whatever, <laughs> spooky little bush with some lights. If we time set and then we can just do night, um, obviously you get these spooky little bushes and they actually look really good. Um, it gives you a nice bit of light and kind of hides away as well, which is something that, you know, it's it's one of those that is a really good one to keep uh, in mind. You can hide lighting and make it look good as well. And you can have these bushes and things and just kind of make your world look that much better. Now, I don't want the time to be on this. I want it to be on this. Uh, it just gives it a bit more brightness to the world. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're done with that one. Here we go to the simple little barrel designs. Using beehives and barrels give you this nice combination of kind of like boxes. So you can move like have some like storage areas, somewhere like this. It already looks like someone's packing up or moving somewhere. Or you could have like a um, a yard where cranes or a train yard where you know you're transporting different types of cargo from one place to another. Um, so you could all have these little storage containers, which is something to take a note. Next up, a simple little vet, a vase design. Maybe in your desert areas, you could use a polished granite block with a pot on top, kind of looks like a vase or a vase. Uh, and then once again, you just a little flower design here. You could have like, for example, this could be a long vase with a flower in it. It's really up to you what you do with that. Next up, we just got a simple lighting uh, display here. So we've got chains hanging across, lanterns around, and then we surround the whole thing with a signs, giving you this kind of long stretched light that you could use in a kitchen, for example, or some sort of large. Um, yeah, I'd probably use it in a kitchen above your workstation. Um, that's what I would use personally. But yeah, I think you could do that. Next up is pretty much the same here. We don't have signs around it, but we've got this little pane here that kind of looks like it can kind of sit on it. Um, it's just a little thing I was playing around with. It does look a bit weird. It's just an invisible item frame on the bottom of this. So you will have to go down here, place the invisible item frame and then place the glass pane in it. It kind of looks like it's sitting on it. Obviously you can't make it really sit in it because it somehow has to float. Um, otherwise it will break the frame. It's really weird, but that's just a small little thing that I found out when playing around with it. Uh, and then, yeah, you can make trees, custom trees too, by using fences. So all I did for this one was get some fences, and you place them up however tall you want it. So I went up about, I think I went up to here. And then you just literally just go around and you place whatever you want. And key to building custom trees is not to worry too much about how the tree looks, because a tree is not meant to look perfect. A tree can look however you want it to look doesn't have to look perfect it just looks more natural and um, obviously it doesn't look like you've made it when it's just got bits missing and it doesn't look perfect it just looks more man-made um, something that uh, not man-made something that looks less man-made and it's kind of naturally generated um, and just looks a lot better than having perfectly symmetrical trees uh, that don't really make a lot of sense so yeah so a little tip for you there you can use fences instead of actual oak logs and you get these small skinny little trees here um, so yeah take that to note Next up, just a small little table design. You get some planks, you get some spruce trap doors, and you place these here, and you can place these here. Simple table design. Obviously, playing on Java, you can place things on top by sneaking and placing. I'm not sure if you can do this on bedrock or whatever. Um, so yeah, just a little tip for you there. Um, you can't actually place anything underneath. And then our last little thing here is just a little scarecrow design. So, see so your simple scarecrow. You've got a fence, then you've got a hay bale, jack-o'-lantern on top. You can have whatever colour banner you want. On the back and you can just add simple arms in obviously these are going to connect and hold hands now but yeah just a simple little scarecrow design so just a few little tips and tricks for you guys here hope you enjoyed this video if so don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content if you would like to see some sort of different videos feel free to leave some suggestions in the comments or join over with my discord and leave in the suggested video area there and i'll get back and see what i can do see what you want, guys want me to do and yeah, I'm going to be uploading a lot more frequently in the next week or so because obviously we're going into lockdown. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video once again and I'll see you all soon. Peace.